Wake up, babe. New Tyrannosaurus just dropped. No, no, I think it's real this time. Presentando Tyrannosaurus Micraensis. If you want your idea to become a video, share your art, or chat with other like-minded people, join the Dino Nerd Discord server. The link is in the description and comments section. Help us get to 1,000 members. We're almost there, and our 1,000th member will get a special tag on the server. On January 11th, Nature published a new study titled A Giant Tyrannosaur from the Campanian Maastrichtian of Southern North America and the Evolution of Tyrannosaur Gigantism, authored by Sebastian G. Dahlman et al. As the name of the study suggests, a new Tyrannosaurus species was found in the Hall Lake Formation in New Mexico, dating back to the Campanian Maastrichtian. Using uranium to lead isotope analysis, researchers determined that the fossil is 73.2 million years old, plus or minus a mere 700,000 years. This makes the dinosaur about 6 to 7 million years older than Tyrannosaurus rex. So what material was found of our brand new dinosaur? Paleontologists identified the right postorbital and squamosal, along with the left palatine, a fragmentary maxilla, and elements from the lower jaws, including the left dentary. Basically, they found fragments of the skull. But how do we know it's a different species? After all, this wouldn't be the first time someone cried wolf over a new Tyrannosaurus species. Well, over the years, we have found many Tyrannosaurus rex specimens. The number is about 32 post-juvenile specimens in museums today. Fun fact, scientists estimated that there are about 20,000 T-Rexes living on the planet at any one time, meaning 2.5 billion T-Rexes existed in the history of our Earth. Paleontologists have taken the precise measurements of every specimen found so far. Like any other animal, there is a range of variation observed in Tyrannosaurus rex. Thing is, this actually wasn't a new discovery. They initially called this thing T-Rex, but decided to take another look. What scientists discovered is that the postorbitals, dentaries, and splenials of T. micraensis, shown in red, were different enough from T-Rex that they fell outside of the range of variation found among T-Rex specimens, shown in blue. Tyrannosaurus micraensis is similar enough to be a Tyrannosaurus, but different enough to not be a Rex. Despite the fact that T. micraensis came before T-Rex, it probably was not a direct ancestor, but rather a sister species. According to the study, differences in the jawbones influenced scientists to assign it to the Tyrannosaurini tribe, quote, which is defined by the authors is the last common ancestor of the Asian Tarbosaurus Vitar and Tyrannosaurus Rex and all its descendants. How big was dude? The study claims T. micraensis to be over 12 meters long, rivaling T. rex in size. Quote, the skull fossils assigned to T. micraensis suggest that larger, more robust, and powerful tyrannosaurs evolved in the southern United States compared to the smaller and more primitive tyrannosaurs found further north. Paleontologists noticed that dinosaurs in the southern portion of Laramidia had a tendency to get really big. Tyrannosaurus, Alamosaurus, a species of Lambiosaurus called Magnapulia laticatus, and giant Triceratopsini all made southern Laramidia their home while dinosaurs of northern Laramidia were not nearly as large on average. From the study, quote, giant tyrannosaurans likely evolved to prey on the giant herbivores found in the south, although the reason for the evolution of large herbivorous dinosaurs, possibly including latitudinal variation in mean annual temperature, primary productivity, or seasonality, remains unknown. So, what can we learn from all this? Well, we have a new tyrannosaurus species for starters. This dinosaur was about the same size as Tyrannosaurus rex and predated T. rex by about 7 million years. This led scientists to believe that Tyrannosaurini evolved in the southern Laramidia, marking a divide between the Tyrannosaurs and fauna in general of northern and southern Laramidia. Scientists initially thought that sea level changes resulted in the diversification of Tyrannosaurs across the globe, and while that's still probably true, evolution of T. rex sized Tyrannosaurs now appears to have occurred before the end Maastrichtian marine regression, meaning there were other factors at play and Tyrannosaurus originated in northern America. W. Basically, the study debunks the theory that Tyrannosaurus originated in Asia. Co-author of the paper, Dr. Anthony Fiorio, executive director of NMHS, explained, New Mexicans have always known our state is special. Now we know that New Mexico has been a special place for tens of millions of years. The study delivers on the mission of this museum through the science-based investigation of the history of life on our planet. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to keep an open mind, and I'll see you next time.